Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions. And we just met Argat, or Algus, from the original uh, English translation of Final Fantasy Tactics on the PS1. My name is Argat, a knight who is excellently the Marquis of Umlador Limberry's household. A knight, you say? Well, truth be told, I'm a knight's apprentice as you are. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken. A fellow knight in training, and I am Keith Bayable. And this is Delayla Harrell, my trusted friend. Oh, an email from you too, yay. Bayable? You are not at oh, the Bayables of the Northern Order of the Northern Sky, are you? That's been what a fantastic a fantastic luck, a blessing in the midst of disaster. What? The order had me help rescue the Marquis. It must. The Marquis is held captive. They took him hostage, yes. But he still lives. We must act quickly if he is to be uh, he is to remain so. Should he be killed, I will lose everything. That's nice and all. simply must help me, please, I beg you. Calm yourself. Who's to say your Marcus is to be killed anyway? Of course, Grave would not take a man alive. Save, uh, man alive. Save there would... Eh. Of course, Grave would not take a man alive. Save there were value in keeping him, so... Of that, you can be sure. I hate all English. Fuck it. Fuck it, big time. There's little, uh, there's little the three of us can do to help. In any case, the Marcus must be t uh, has been taken hostage. He grows will be in an uproar. You can be sure of that too. Then, bef uh, then before, as a, uh, yeah, then before all else, we should report in to Egros. Are we agreed? Agreed. We'll start there. I hear you were decorated for your first victory, Keith. They sing your praise from on high. You be, uh, you do honor to our name, my brother, and to me. I am glad. I am glad. Okay. Oh, you should. You would not see it. I am. Forgive me. Your words do me far more honor than I have done you. No doubt, word has already reached you that the Marcus de Limberry's carriage was way was waylaid and the Marcus taken. Have you mind to do? Have you a mind to do? What have you a mind to do? What have you a mind to do? Keep up your limb. I have already asked uh, Zalbag to dispatch a squad in pursuit. These brigades must be eventually come forth with man ransom. That is, assuming the Marquis yet lives. I beg of you, Lord Beowulf. Lead me, lend me a hundred men so that I might hunt the war. Horse, huh? What the fuck? Or sons down, okay? Or sons, son of whores. Please, my lord, grant me the means to avenge my fallen friends. Mayhaps your ears fail you. I said that a squad is to be dispatched. You are not a man of gale on me. Leave her, uh, leave her affairs to those of us who are. But, my lord. Do not be. Uh, do not assume to beg favor from me. Let me remind you, Arya, lest you forget your place. You are but another sword, not even, not yet even knighted. I'm starting to get onto this old English thing. Woo! I'm living. The two of you are to remain here at Egros and serve among the castle guard. You needn't worry. Danger is not like to visit these walls. Alrighty then. My own house was respected as uh, uh, as highly as Beowulf, you know. 
at least until my grandfather was captured during the war. He turned traitor, thinking to buy his freedom with, with the lives of his friends. But his freedom scarce, scarce outlived his honor. He was not a dozen paces out their gate when, their, when a dagger found his back, killed by some common squire, no more a knight than I. One of the men he betrayed later escaped and spread word of his misdeeds. My lord father would have, no, would have none of it, of course, but he was the only one. Our bannermen deserted us, our reputation ruined. I suppose I had best remember my place. Your lord brother has no reason to lend, lend ears to please from the likes of me. But look, it's Tetra. Letta, Tetra. Alma, Zalbog. Oh, look at there. There's Alma, Tetra, and, uh, of course, Zalbog. In that order. Keith, you have come, you've come home. It's been some time, hasn't it, Zalbog? I heard it from Garland. They say you made short work of those brigades. Now you're truly to call yourself a Beowulf. Father would be proud. Thank you, brother, Lord Brother. Ah, you, you certainly haven't changed. God for, forbid that you show a cheer on being praised. Which, you know. Oh, and Alita, do not think word of your deeds escaped our ears. Your sister has been so full of pride, I quite feared she might burst. Worry not, my seams have held. I'm glad to see you are looking so well, Alita. And I, you, how have, we, how have you settled in school? Yes, the others have been quite kind to me. With that, uh, eh. With that, we could speak at a greater leisure. But there are duties that require my attendance. Rogues do not catch themselves. I understand. Good luck. Okie dokie, then. Old English is rather droll, I have to say. We received a note, uh, a note of France from the coast. What?! Something about it sits unwell with me. There are, uh, yeah, they are anarchists, uh, anarchists, to be sure, bent on bringing down the anarchists. Yeah, fuck. They fancy themselves righteous and prey only on the nobility of those in our employ, with such, you know, with such as they truly kidnap the Marquis uh, for what, for want of the coin. Why wouldn't they? They're not but common footpads. Really? Are they, are they like Dr. Scholes? That makes me feel better. Okay. One of the men I, part, uh, I planted among them has not returned. I worry he caught himself with something serious. There are those who do not think some more spy worth... Do not think some more spy worth a search party ever. Where was his last known... Where was he last known to be? A merchant named Darter in Eastern Island. Guarding a castle grows... Dreadfully dull, wouldn't you say? Agree? Forgive us, teacher. Seems we must be leaving sooner than we had planned. Don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. I will. Mind your studies. I'll be back before you have even noticed I'm gone. And there goes the Lita and I. But I got August, whatever the hell his name is anymore. Asshole. Yeah, that's it. Let's be on our way. Tetra puts on a brave face, but the truth are not uh, as honeyed as her words. What do you mean? She has a hard time at school. The others tease her for, her low, for being low-born. Forgive me, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sure you have worries enough of your own. Tetra will be alright. I'll be, I'll be here to look after her. I'm here to look after her. Yeah. Then there is not to worry about. Yeah. But mind your own limits. You can't be responsible for everything. Says a brother who never fails to do any to do any and all that is expected of him. Don't lose sight of yourself, Keith. You don't need you need to let your life be ruled by the fact that you are born a beautiful. Now he's trying to sound like a mother. You know, you're starting to sound like a mother. And let's continue on. 
cave and when magically blows your dress, despite the fact that it wasn't there before. Awesome! And that was a very long cutscene, meaning we had to go all the way over here to the merchant city of Dor. But for now, we're gonna have to end it here. I'll be, uh, yeah. Talk to you guys later. I'm gonna, I'm going to grind a bit.